yeah, your eyes aren't deceiving you. We've gone a little bit mad. <laughs> okay, that's taken out our whole new life. <laughs> so welcome back to the GT3. Now today is a big day, physically, metaphorically. Anyway, we're gonna see something really big, like monster truck big. So we're on our way to JE Engineering, a phenomenal company based out of Coventry. And behind the scenes, off camera, we've been in and out of there recently for reasons I shall explain shortly. And things, well, escalated. Check this out, the GT3, is on 48,135 miles, sir. And at 50,000 miles, we've decided to use that time frame as the benchmark for when we rip out the interior and start all over again. Every interior panel, whoop, out of the car and redressed into something entirely new. Anyway, we're not far from JE. Let's uh, drop some flat six cogs and introduce you to Thor. <laughs> That never gets old. What a phenomenal sound. All right, here we are, JE. JE Engineering. Conveniently, we've parked behind our deranged Ford Thunder pickup truck. Let's talk you through that because that's kind of where this journey started. So effectively, what these guys don't know about Range Rovers, about Defenders, isn't worth knowing. Across the last 50 years, these guys designed and engineered the uh, Range Rover CSK, the Charles Spencer King. They have a Dakar winning car. The history goes on and on and on. The team behind the scenes in Bunker Group is starting to grow. And so the reason we have things like production Bunker Van with Yorkie, we've got this deranged pickup truck with Gary from the team. We love its road presence. In isolation, this thing feels like a fairly substantial vehicle, but we always wanted to sort of step things up on the channel just to see how far we can push things and months ago deep in the Coventry winter I stopped by JE to discuss what options there might be around a sort of defender support vehicle and then I saw this thing yeah your eyes are not deceiving you look at the size of that thing so that chassis is actually a 110 chassis it doesn't look like it because it's so big I stopped by JE a few months back and this was parked up and I was like what's happening with this and they were like well we've got some plans for it I was like you do now when I was a kid which kid didn't want to grow up owning their own monster truck these are the best in the game now it's a completely bespoke build this isn't our actual chassis this is Thor 2 which has been inspired by Thor 1 which you're about to see so our car, which has been in paint, which is based on that chassis, is about to roll off a transporter. But now that it's alongside a more conventional 110, that should give you the size of this thing. It's absolutely massive. <laughs> yeah, your eyes aren't deceiving you. We've gone a little bit mad, but it's gonna be awesome. We can't wait. This is the kind of thing, I've always been a fan of Range Rover. I've always been a fan of the Defender. Uh, I think they look beautiful as far as icons go. They are, well, let's refer it to the 911 of the 4x4 world. They're as iconic as they get. But we wanted to take this platform and JE it. Now we've been working on it, well, as this build would suggest for months. When I say did this build, this is actually build two. A customer saw ours, which is about to turn up shortly and he was like, you know what? Make two of those because it's so cool. So we've got long travel Fox shocks which have external reservoirs. Now this has doubled the original travel. So it now has between eight to nine inches of travel. Look at that. Now the experience that JE have, uh, they actually once developed a Dakar car. So they know a thing or two about setting up long travel suspension and the engine so this is the v8 what you are effectively looking at is the underpinnings of the car which we have in build je have re-engineered a six-speed manual transmission this, Absolute this is a fully bespoke exhaust that's getting made for the car that comes off of a new set of headers that we make so it's a side exit exhaust with special steps the steps will be fabricated round about the exhaust so that we'll have um, side exit can we have some grab handles so i can get up into it <laughs> Um, <laughs> Look it at will, it, it's ridiculous. It will so, have special steps made so we can get into this with so the lift that's on it. We'll be sat about there. Yeah, easily that height. Easily that height. Okay. And remember when you actually go into this car, <laughs> yeah. that there's a box section that sits, so your seat sits up here. 
Of, co of course, yeah, yeah. You've got a box section that the battery never can sits in, so your seat actually starts at this point. So my head height isn't so far your, off. Your head height is about where you'll be. This is a roundabout driving height. We make all of this as machined adapter plate that we've made to make to mate this six-speed box to this engine. So in terms of chassis length, it's still similar to a 110? 110, strengthened chassis, full strengthened suspension. It's just it's on a four-inch lift, which gives us double the height. Clearly, we're trying to build this car around your needs, yeah. not anybody else's. So if I've got it wrong, it's my fault? It's your fault. <laughs> you spec'd it. We'll build just... it. We've got six of these in build, and everybody wants mango boxes just now. Cool. Okay, V8s great. with mango boxes. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, nobody's really getting this length of lift. Right. We think when this is seen, everybody will want one though. So Thor is a name, we didn't come up with this. The guys in JE saw the scale of this and decided to call it Thor. So what was the story last time I met Jonathan? He touched on a Dakar car. What's yeah, the... we, had a, we had an early Dakar car that we did all the development work on. We would love to compete in that again. Um, yeah. Hopefully we got a customer maybe something that you could do I'll take certainly of that. certainly with some of your experiences in the sand that's this guy behind the camera yeah, we're, we're certainly <laughs> his not, experience in the sand certainly not going to put yorkie behind <laughs> the wheel okay that's taking on a whole new life <laughs> i'm not sure i thought it would be that big well, Yorkie, we will be short of baggage space on our next uh, Highland excursion. Look at that. So it's got a bespoke carbon bonnet built for this car, so that it's got better cooling as well. So on top, we have an air intake. Yeah. Let's keep that, that V8 on full chat. So this is an Aston Martin paint. Aston Martin, ceramic grey. Black accents, black front grille. We went for black billet hinges. Yes both in the window, bonnet, um, on the doors, billet with reversion cameras. <laughs> what a thing. <laughs> We're gonna save the interior for next time, but uh, yeah, we've special. got some, It's what I'd say is we've got some sophisticated plans, yeah. you know, to sort of contrast with the obnoxious exterior and scale of it. We're gonna keep it classy on the interior. So actually this has worked out great. Having the chassis of the next customer's car has been amazing to show you the work which has gone underneath this. This, as I mentioned, started months ago but because thankfully we've been so busy, traveling is back to normal. We just said to JE, do you know what? You crack on with it. And then when we get to a sort of milestone stage, we'll come back and we'll share the news with you guys. And it's just worked out like this, that we have two chassis. So it's absolutely perfect. Couldn't have worked out better. Interior journey, we'll take you along for that. As I mentioned, it's gonna be a little bit more classy uh, on the inside, which I think will be an a nice contrast to step up out of the world and inside a plush interior. But think Recaro mixed in with a bit of Bentley. It's going to be very cool. <laughs> this is looking good. <laughs>